this trauma. And you guys know that. You hear that airplane? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jay and this channel is all about makeup, lifestyle, and fun videos. So if you're interested in that, subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss any more of our videos. So today we're doing a Christmas look. When I think of Christmas, I think of gingerbread houses and gingerbread cookies. So we're doing a gingerbread inspired look today using my Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy palette. Look today is mostly going to be about using brown colors, really warm tones, neutrals, and of course because it's the holiday season we got to use a little bit of sparkle. I'm actually currently all packed up and I packed up a lot of my makeup products I'm going to take with me because today is the day that I'm leaving to get home for Christmas so we're just going to use a concealer today as my eye primer and I forgot to wet my sponges. I have been struggling today. When you guys watch my vlogmas video this week, you'll understand why. So I'm going to start with Vanilla Wafer just to kind of set my lid, which is like this cream white shade. And then we'll go in with Butterscotch in my transition. I'm going to use that same brush to apply Butterscotch. We're just extending our crease just a little bit, going a bit above it and extending it outwards. We want to deepen up butterscotch a bit, so we're going to go in with the shade Extra Spicy. And I'm going to use that same brush. And we're going to go just a little bit below butterscotch because we want to keep that color at the very top. But for the most part, we're just going to cover it all up. And extra spicy is a little bit too red. So if you have a shade that's a little bit more brown or a little bit deeper than this, use that. But this is the shade that I have before I can just go into a very, like this deep burgundy purplish color. I don't wanna go in with that one straight away. So if you have a color that's more brown, use that. But I want an orangey brown tone. In order to get that color, I'm gonna have to mix two shades a little bit of cookie call not too much because i don't want it so deep but you do want like a darker orange brown color like i said and if i mix the two of them we should get that type of color and then if you need to just keep going back and forth adding extra spicy and cookie call until you get that perfect shade that you want because we don't want it too orange but we also don't want it to be purple somewhere in the middle is what we're looking for 90 percent of my makeup videos i'm just going back and forth adding colors blending colors and, and i try to show you guys because i know that you want to see how i got these looks but at the same time nobody wants to watch 30 minutes of me just doing this right here and for the most part we got the kind of color that i want so we're going to do the same thing to the other eye and then we're going to go back on top and blend a little bit of butterscotch. All right, so the interesting part of this eye look is that we're not just gonna do a straight cut crease line. I saw a picture on Pinterest that I'm basing this look off of and they had like a squiggly type look and I'm assuming that kind of represents like the icing that you put on gingerbread cookies. So we're gonna cut our crease, but it's not gonna be like a normal, just, you know, we're gonna do a little bit of a squiggle design. I should, draw my squiggle line with the eyeliner first and then go over it with my concealer. I'm gonna practice. I've never drawn on my eyelids before so this is actually very hard. That 
That was very difficult, but I'm glad I did that first because it'll help. So now I'm just gonna pretty much trace over that line so I can see where. I'm actually gonna go with some white concealer that I have and try to carve it out that way. Cause I wanna keep it white. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera to clean this up and hopefully try to get a more defined line. Although I think the white would've looked better, the white concealer just wasn't working out. So I ended up going in with my NYX little glitter liquid liner in this silver color. And I do think it still looks really nice, but white really will look better. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Candy Queen first, and then we're just gonna put a little bit. Actually, this might be too gold. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this is my gold glitter liner from NYX. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this sparkle on top of that. Put a mixture of extra spicy in for the gram. So these two shades are gonna go on my entire lid first. Be careful not to mess up our little swoops. Okay, so now we're gonna go with Candy Queen. Just add a little bit of sparkle, even though we use the glitter. But it never hurts to have more sparkle. And I don't even know if you guys can tell a huge difference, but I can see a little bit of something. But that's why we're gonna go in with another like liquid glitter, just to really make it pop. Liquid liner. And you don't need a lot, just dot it everywhere and then blend it out. Put a little too much on this side. Pretty much the finished product. We're gonna add a couple little things on my base is on. But I'm just gonna take my Pat McGrath liner just to do a little bit of a wing. We're gonna clean up this fallout and fix up my wings and then we can start on my base. So for our primer, we're gonna go with Fenty Beauty, which is the hydrating one. Most of the products we're using today are gonna be from Fenty, just because I feel like I haven't really used a lot of her base products in a while. You guys know that my poreless putty primer is my favorite, but this hydrating one is definitely top three from Fenty. It's so good. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of her spray foundation we have the Fenty Pro Filter this is the hydrating long run one in 345 and I'm gonna apply it with my love is the foundation brush because I haven't used this in a while I love this brush I don't think I've ever used it with the Fenty foundation I don't think but this is such a good brush I'm telling you guys Kathleen might a lot of her makeup recommendations I love like they work so well for my skin take it on my neck a little bit I'm literally doing this I'm gonna go hop in the shower take all this off and go home okay so I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath concealer in M17 For some extra brightness, we're gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in Dream. You don't need a lot of this. It just, it does brighten it because obviously it's a lighter shade than my normal concealer, but it just gives it such a nice little glow from within kind of look. If you like a little more personal kind of get to know me videos definitely go check out my past three vlogmas videos because we do a lot of chit chatting in those videos because i don't really do much of anything else so we're going to use my fenty banana powder love 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 this powder i 
can't remember. I've seen like a tip video where it says like start outwards and work your way in. And I feel like it looks better that way. Like this is when I start in my corner and go out. This is when I start out here and go in. It looks better that way, don't it? Okay. Then you guys know I like to go over my brows just a bit. And then we're going to take extra spicy and a little bit of butterscotch. We're going to mix the two and just do that under my eye. I just think the color combination is really pretty. So for a blush, we're going to use my one from... Actually, we should do my browser first, right? I'm going to use my Fenty Caramel Cutie. If I can get those open. It looks like this. We're going to do our Burt's Bees Toasted Cinnamon. The makeup that I'm doing right now, like base-wise, is pretty much my everyday makeup. I just change my foundation every now and then, but I love warm tones and neutrals, and this is like my go-tos. Then for highlighter, you know we had to do it, because we're doing a gingerbread look, we're doing a Christmassy look, so we're going to go... Nora, I just did my nail in this. Oh no. Ciao. So we're going to use my Fenty Highlight and Trophy Wipe. I just dug my nail in it. But it's so pretty. Look at, look at that. Can you even see? Look how reflective that is. You know the drill. I'm about to go off camera to do my brows and put on some lashes and then we'll be back to finish up the last little design for our eye look and do our So sorry for the light and change, I had to turn on my ring light. I also know that it looks very crazy, so I end up adding some little drips with the silver. You can't really tell from far away. And then I end up putting this white concealer all over my lashes, my bottom lashes and my false lashes. And now I'm gonna go in with this Mr. Bing eyeliner. It's like a brown shade and we're just gonna put that in my waterline. This is from ColourPop, by the way. I feel like my top lashes look crazy, so maybe I should do them back black. But the bottom lashes, I definitely like white. I use this Lip Bar Lip Pencil in Straight Living. It's a very dark brown color, similar to Espresso. I love these type of dark browns. I'm gonna take this limited edition MAC lipstick in Filling Sedimental. I love this packaging. And this is like a very like pale, pale nude. It's so pretty though. And I'm just gonna mix it together with the lip liner so it doesn't look so light. And then we have two nude lip glosses. We have the Pat McGrath one in Faux Real and the Artist Couture one is Uncensored. I think I'm gonna go with the Pat McGrath first and then if we need to, we'll go with Uncensored. Nope, Pat McGrath is perfect. This is the absolute color I want it. A really nice pale nude, but still it's very warm. The uncensored one is a little bit more on the cool side. I'll swatch them both. So this one's Pat McGrath and this is uncensored. Uncensored is more of a cool tone nude with like a hint of a mauve color and this one's like a more peachy, pale, warm tone nude. Both really pretty, but I like the Pat McGrath one better, just for this particular look. And then I'm gonna spray my face with either one of these. I'm just gonna use the NYX. I thought about drawing a little gingerbread men on my face, but I, I don't even know if I'm talented enough for that. So this is the final look. I really do love the eye look. I thought about actually putting the, um, going over my silver lines with the white concealer. But I was scared to mess it up so I still might do it after this and just like insert a photo of what it looks like if I end up doing it but I really like the way this turned out